When researching about Wuj, we read that there is not much to do, that there is no fun to be had. But in our opinion, that couldn't be further from the truth. This city is filled with creativity. The repurposing of former factories is as innovative as the original designs for the buildings. So much art and culture were created here. I mean, how many places in the world have a walk of fame or a film institute with famous alumni? Pull up your director's chair and see why Wuj Poland is actually better than you think. Question, if you have a second. Um, yeah. Is there a tie with the hot air balloons and Wuj? I don't really you, know. Oh, you don't know, okay. <laughs> Like people had idea for this like particular like, thing. This building before was a factory, like when it was, you know, like industrial developed. Yeah, yeah. So I think like kind of that steampunk industrial was the factory here before. I don't think it has any like zeppelins and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not local also, so... Oh, where are you from? students uh, here from Wombra. Okay. Yeah, it's like in Podlasie, like near Białystok. Yeah, there's a beer called Wombra, which is made in Wombra, so yeah. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the barista, I guess, that's what you call it, a Starbucks, I guess that's right, uh, noticed that we were taking uh, some pictures and videos around the area and she just lit up the sign for us, so super awesome. We stopped in for coffee and a little bit of a snack at the Hot Air Cafe. Now, one of the reasons we wanted to stop in here is because our very first vacation together was to the Hot Air Balloon Fiesta in New Mexico, back in the USA. But also, the Airbnb that we're staying in has a picture of a hot air balloon, well, multiple hot air balloons, flying over what I think is Wooj. So we did ask the barista if there's any sort of connection between Wooj and hot air balloons, but she wasn't really sure. But if you guys know, definitely let us know in the comments down below. We got two cups of drip coffee, 300 milliliters each coffee, and each coffee was only 16 zawate, and they're really, really good from all over the world, so that's feels like a good price to me. You do have ones from Mexico, they have one from Ethiopia, but we got uh, the two that we have, one is from El Salvador and one is from Rwanda. So the first one we're gonna try here is from El Salvador. Now we wanted strong coffees. Hopefully we got strong coffees that aren't like super light, like breakfast blends or anything like that. So let's see how this goes. The El Salvador coffee. Definitely a little bit bitter, which I like. I mean, to me, when someone says it's bitter, that means it's full of flavor, and I do like this El Salvador coffee. The next one we have is a Rwanda blend. Rwandan? Not really sure of the context there, but coffee beans from Rwanda. To me, still pretty strong, really, really good. Uh, I like this one from Rwanda better because it tastes a lot smoother. It doesn't taste like bitter or tart or whatever the right word is. Yeah, both really good, definitely strong, full of flavor, but I think I like this Rwanda coffee better. And then our pastry that we got was 11 zawate. A couple of the themes that we've seen from the desserts and the pastries here in Poland are uh, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, honey. So this is a poppy seed cake. All right, which sounds pretty good. It's a little bit squishy, which is nice. So it should be nice and fresh. Let's see how this poppy seed cake tastes. Sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. Uh, I'm not really sure what poppy seeds taste like, but I like them. I like them in the uh, overjanki that we had. I like them here. Um, yeah, the dessert pastry itself is nice. It's not like flaking off, but it's also not like hard. Pretty good.
So are you actually a film student here? Yes. Right next door? Yes, I am. And uh, so, like, what do you study? Is it like just film in general, or? No, I'm studying photography, so it's kind of you know strange in the film school because we don't actually take part in the film machine, but we can make a, I don't know photos on the plane, but. Our department is a bit divided from the rest of school, but it's fun. I think I'm going into artsy way, so there's money more fun. Okay. <laughs> Your English is very, very good. Thank you. All right. You're from Poland? Yes. What part? Uh, from Wrocław. Oh, okay. We're going... Not exactly from Wrocław, 100 kilometers down from Wrocław, from Jelenia Góra. It's a city in the mountains, so... Nice. And what was your name again? Uh, Alicia. Alicia, my name is Will, and this is Katya. Nice to meet you guys. So nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We stopped in for a Polish donut, and it's nice and warm. And if you watched our previous videos, you know that the best season in the world to me is eggnog season. So let's try this warm Polish eggnog filled donut. Oh yeah. Mm. The icing and the dough. We might need to get a whole box of these. So I might actually eat the whole thing just trying to get to the filling. This was five and a half zlot there. All right, here we go. Looks more like um, yellow kind of custard. So hopefully it tastes like eggnog. Might have a little bit of rum in it too. I'm not really sure, but that is really good. Yeah, tastes kind of like spiked eggnog. I love it. Makuyumi. The one thing we collect in each and every city that we go to are patches. Now let's see if we can find a patch for woots. So we've got tons of like folklore magnets and lanyards and keychains. Uh, they all look really, really cool because it's all like artistic, kind of like, you know, the rest of the city. Um, so hopefully we can find an actual patch and ideally something with the boat that signifies the city. Do you have patches? No. 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 Do you know any other shop along here that might? Uh, this side of the street is the uh, tourist information, but okay. I think today will be closed. But Maybe you tomorrow. Can, you can, yeah, tomorrow. Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We weren't able to find our patch at the last uh, souvenir shop. This is another one we found on this main street, so let's see if we can find it in here. They have plenty of cats. Mucho gatos. We've got some cool, like, medallion looking things here. The boat. Do you have a patch? Oh! Yay! Okay, Tinkuya! Okay, we've got Polska, we've got flags. Merzes. We got a Krakow one. Oh, okay. But we don't, we, yeah, we want a Wuj one with like the boat. So basically yeah. with this little emblem on it, like this thimble, yeah. but on a patch. I think we got one more spot we can look at, which uh, the lady at the last shop recommended to go to the tourist um, information center. So let's go check that spot out. We got pins again. Yeah. We need a patch. Do you have a patch? Like to sew? No, you don't have to go to another shop with souvenirs. Down there? I think we went. I'll check. Yeah. 97. I think we did that one. But okay. I'll check again. Okay. Only souvenir shops. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. They do have a wood pin. At least we can get some kind of wood souvenir, even if it's not the patch. Yeah, and we did collect pins at one point in Mexico. Um, so it's not like we don't have any pins. Okay, we'll do that. And that's, yeah, and that's only 10 swate. Where are you from? Uh, the United States, Florida. Yeah. So quite cold. Yes. <laughs> this is the opposite. <laughs> but we like the change. Yeah. Twelve years ago, I've been there uh, because on on the cold. Oh yeah. Uh, from from uh, from Fort Lauderdale. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. where we're from. Cruises are the best. Uh, Jamaica. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first Key West, of course. Yes. Oh, we Good love Key West. Oh, yes. Why is the city called uh, <laughs> City of Boats? Yes, we have 21 <laughs> uh, rivers here in Woods. They are in the canals, yes, inside the canals. A lot of canals just like Fort Lauderdale where we're from. Yeah, yes. canals in Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> yeah. That's why you like this so much, all the canals. Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> it was industrial. Did you build, did yes, they build yes, boats yes, that's here why, too? That's why, yes, yes, yes. Water yeah. was 
Yeah. To to uh, made this yeah. industrial. Oh, oh thank wow. you so much. Thank you. That's awesome. She oh, so kind. Thank you. Yeah, our <laughs> new friend just gave us a little pamphlet on Wuj. She said to remember Wuj by. Perfect. Thank you. Man, these people here in the tourist information center are absolutely incredible. So friendly, so helpful. We walked away with so many uh, goodies. We've got postcards, we've got maps. She circled a bunch of different areas we need to check out, uh, even like a restaurant and with a little stamp that we might get an extra treat. Um, yeah, so if you are coming to Wuj and you want to know some extra stuff of what to do, definitely come talk to these guys. They just showed everything to us and looks like we got a few more spots to go check out. Hanging out with my friend, my new friend, the poet Julian. I read that if you rub his nose, it either brings you good luck or it grants your wish or something like that. I'm not really sure why, but if you know why, let us know. Here at the Rose Passage, a project by Joanna, and here's the backstory. The Rose Passage is a personal project which was linked to the illness of her daughter, Rose. The walls of the backyard have been covered in pieces of mirror, and this light reflecting mosaic gives life to the surroundings. Unfortunately, we're here on a cloudy day, so we can't see too many light reflections, but we were here at night, and it looks really cool at night. It actually felt like we were walking through a galaxy, so it reflects very well at night. So this passage is an illusion, which is the result of broken mirrors symbolizing the sick retina of the eye. And that's because this rose passage is a project focused on putting the fragments of an image into the whole. And it's symbolic of the reconstruction of Rose's retina after her chemotherapy. I really, really like this cathedral here in Wuj because it's large and it's gorgeous, but it's not like overwhelming and I feel like it's not like overdone like some of the other cathedrals and churches that we've seen. When you walk in your view goes right on Jesus as it should be right there at the top of the altar and there's stained glass which is gorgeous but it's not just random stained glass like I feel like some churches are. It's actually depictions from the Bible which I think is the whole point. Like there's one of the lady at the well and there's also one of John the Baptist baptizing Jesus. It's just two of the examples there. So really like the inside of the church. The outside is gorgeous. In addition to the statue of Pope John Paul II, there's also a statue of Jesus carrying his cross on his way to be crucified and die for all of our sins. So I like how it makes sense that there's a statue to Pope John Paul II, but it's a church, so there's also a statue of Jesus carrying his cross for all of us as well. We've really enjoyed walking around Wuj today and seeing all the artistic and creative things that have happened here in the city, um, from films to uh, different murals around town. Like we've walked down Piotrkovska Street a few different times and I just noticed new things each time. Right now we're at this old factory that has now been turned into a mall, which kind of goes along with this whole theme of this city being artistic and creative because while yes, it was an industrial city, it's been cool to see how a lot of these buildings have been repurposed. The people who repurpose these buildings have to be artistic and creative in order to create it to be what it is today. So I just think that's really cool. Um, and now we're at the mall, we're gonna explore it because it looks like there's a lot of things going on. It's decorated very nicely. And also, I just love the way lighting looks peeking through these brick buildings, like through the windows. So let's see what we can uh, find here at the mall. 
we already made a separate Christmas market video just going down the main street here in Wuj because we had no idea all of this stuff existed here in Manufactura. I mean, there's carousels and different rides, a giant Christmas tree, which is one of the biggest Christmas trees we've probably seen. And there's additional like Christmas market type stalls. So a lot of really cool, fun things to do out here. It's great for families. Across the street is Poznanski's Palace, which we didn't have time to actually tour inside of it, but we had time to at least check it out from the outside. And this is his factory. We don't know much about him. We know he's one of like the cotton kings and one of the main uh, manufacturing leaders back in the big boom here in Wood. So if you know more about Poznanski, please let us know down in the comments. So unfortunately, the mall area itself is closed, but all the restaurants seem to be open. And we're here in full gear, ready to root on Poland in the World Cup today. Lewandowski was ready. Yeah. Wide right. We are disappointed in ourselves for not spending more time in Wuj. There are a lot of attractions we didn't get the chance to see, which means we have quite a list for the next time we're in Wuj. Thank you for watching this video. This is Witty Travels. What could possibly be next?